reach from Iwasa. She went and got that one. Frederic Lambert, far too casual on that shot. Iwasa right side. And then skips it. Didn't move her feet, just stood there. Ooh. Soft hands from Lambert. That's what she's so good at. If you're just joining us, thanks so much for watching in. Glad we've got the sound situations handled. I'll just have to repeat myself, JT, with everything I've said for the last 20 minutes. Again, the soft hands. Casual it looks from Lambert, but she knows what she's doing. Former world number two. Look at that, over the shoulder, reverse pinch winner from Lambert. Sticks her tongue out at her coach. Michelle Gagnon watching on. Are you sure that wasn't sticking her tongue out at you since we are standing right next she to the She sometimes coach? does, you know. <laughs> we have that kind of relationship, JT. Frederic Lambert has been on the international scene for many, many years. Um, talked about you know, 16 titles in Canadian Nationals she already has. It's pretty impressive. And Iwasa buries one in the floor for another point. Lambert cruising in game two. Lambert, former world number two on the LPRT. Look at that. Take another look at this replay while we have a timeout on the court. Going with that traditional, her signature bent lob serve. She gets down so low to go up. Iwasa serving. But Lambert, cross court winner, loose serve, punished by her opponent. Oh no, not that time. Lambert went for the reverse splat winner to the right side. Highly ambitious. And paid the price. 4.14 though. Mm. 
Mm, it's just too high. Uh oh. <laughs> he was, uh, Lambert wanted to cut that off and then uh, ran in front of Iwasa. Iwasa apologizes but claims a point. There it is. Game two goes for Lambert in cruise control so far in this round robin match. Took the first 15 10 uh, and took the second 15 5. And welcome back, everybody. Tim Baghurst, JTRB here for the Canadian National Championships. This is day one. We've already seen Samuel Murray. He was tested earlier, but came through in three straight. Um, we saw Kobe Awasa was winning very comfortably in game one, and then in game two, his opponent, Jovin, pulled out with an injury, so... And it would explain why Jovan wasn't able to really give his 100% in that match. So Iwasa moves on for that. When I say move on, that's just a win. It's round robin the first couple of days. And then we get into the, the fun stuff of the elimination bracket. Alexis Iwasa, well, she's got work to do after those first two games. Hitting the ball very high, hard, but high. And Lambert showing that control and that experience as a former world number two. Kobe Iwasa, of course, the cousin of Alexis Iwasa, although she says she considers him a brother. But first point for Lambert. Oh, goodness. And then skips it, Lambert. Got away with one. I thought Iwasa was going to get that ball. She didn't. Misjudged it just by a tiny bit. Yeah. It's the footwork from Iwasa. Excellent serve from Lambert, unreturned. She's taking big steps. And then having to control the ball a little bit off balance. Lambert always seems to have her feet in the right spot. And so as a consequence, you've got somebody lunging for the ball and somebody prepared for the ball. Makes a big difference. I want to say thanks to everybody watching on. We're streaming on Racquetball Canada's page. and I'm sure a lot of people may not be familiar with Racquetball Canada's page. So if you wouldn't mind sharing the feed and just letting people know that we'll be here all week streaming these national championships. Another beautiful Nick Lob serve that dies on the back court, and another point for Iwasa, who is gesticulating at the back glass. Not happy with it, but it was an excellent serve from Lambert. Why would she do anything different? Look at this.
Just controlling the points, JT. Cruise control for Lambert. She doesn't have a lot of stress on in her actions or in her movement. Taking her time. It's relaxed play. Yep. It's I know I'm going to win this, and then it makes you even even more relaxed, so you execute all your shots. There's no tension in those swings. There's definitely tension in the swing of Iwasa, who says, I need a timeout here, not playing well. It's nine serving one in favor of Lambert. Well, we were talking about Lambert uh, a little earlier. Uh, 16 international events. She started in 2008 Pan Am Championships and uh, has represented Canada at three Pan Am Games. This is somebody who's very, very experienced, and we don't see her on tour anymore. She's now a, a doctor, and um, yet she has the pedigree. Mm -hmm. question, question always is, how much training has Frederic Lambert done prior to these tournaments? Right, right now... Uh, it looks like she's got the, just exactly the right amount. Right, and y you know, I... This is my third Canadian National Championships, and I go, okay, what player is going to push Frederic Lambert? It's hard to see. It's hard to see that person. That's a nice shot. Good timeout for Nuwasa. <laughs> Look at it. She's not happy. It, because there's nobody, nobody over the last decade who has challenged Frederic Lambert He's to say, yeah, I can take you on. I can beat you. And until somebody does... Lambert doesn't um, maybe have to be that full-time full-time athlete. Pinch winner from Lambert. Ten serving two, game three. Eleven three shot rallies. We're not having rally, many rallies. Period. And another point for Lambert. And another point for Lambert. That's three ace serves from a Nick Lobb from Frederic Lambert. She has this Nick Lobb to an art. Shot from Alexis Iwasa. Even if she doesn't win this, she needs some court time to be prepared for the other round robin draws. Speaking of which, coming up after this, Trevor Webb, Lee Connell. That will be a fun one, I promise you. You should stick around for that. Lee Connell, you may not have heard of. Oh, a sir from Lambert. She looks back at us. Free point for Alexis Siwasa. But uh, you, you may not have heard from him, but he's a, a fiery player. Plays very technically sound, works hard. Trevor Webb, younger, maybe a little more athletic. And that's an avoidable hinder. I'm going to call this next match is too close to call. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting. Down the line for Iwasa. And then we'll take a break until 6 p.m. Not sure who will be. It will be men's singles at 6 p.m. And then 8 p.m. Eastern, Lambert Morissette against Drury Iwasa. Good pass from Iwasa. Suddenly there's a little bit of momentum, but Lambert just needs one side out and it's game over. Mm -hmm.
And the question for me with rally scoring is, is this now too much? Is it too much pressure for once you get behind, you, al you almost have to give up and save your emotional energy for the next game? Yeah. And try to really push that. But, but I might argue the same if you're down 14-3 in a regular game. Mm -hmm. Is it any different? When is your serve? Yes. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Well, just like that, Lambert claims that match. Uh, fairly comfortable, it has to be said. 15-10, 15-5, 15-6. So we're moving on into the next match. We're, how about that, JT? An hour ahead of schedule, <laughs> courtesy of an injury forfeit by Nathan Jovin earlier. We'll be back. We'll be back when the players are ready. We may be able to start this match early. It's Kobe Awasa and, oh, excuse me, Trevor Webb and Lee Connell. Should be a, a spicy match. I hope you stick around for it. But uh, on behalf of Racquetball Canada and the national championships, uh, thanks so much for watching. We acknowledge the financial support of the Government of Canada. Nous reconnaissons l'appui financier du gouvernement du Canada. <laughs>